So I never thought that I had OCD until I started studying graphic design and I reckon it brought out a few OCD tendencies in me. One of those has reared its ugly head recently. Something I can't stand is when people put one brewery's beer in another brewery's glass. I can't do it. So today's video is gonna be all about how to get your glasses beer clean. So you go and grab a cold one. I'm gonna roll the intro. All right, so when it comes to washing your beer glasses, there's a couple of don'ts that I wanna go through first off. And the first one is do not, I repeat, do not put your glasses in the dishwasher. Rinse aid and dishwasher tablets are some of the worst things for head retention. The detergent and the rinse aid actually leaves residue in the glass, which destroys the surface tension and makes your beer go flat. And the second one is, if you're gonna wash them in the sink, don't use dishwashing liquid. Don't use regular dishwashing liquid or soap for the exact same reasons as not putting it in the dishwasher. The soap leaves a residue, destroys your surface tension, makes beer go flat. Please don't, and unless you're drinking shit beer out of your glasses like Tui's Extra Dry or Great Northern. Go for it, do whatever you want. Now there's a couple of things that you're gonna need to get your beer glasses beer clean. And that is something to wash them with. Now, head on down to your local homebrew store uh, and pick up some sodium percarbonate. Uh, or they'll, they'll probably know it as sodium perk. Um, it's brilliant for washing any sort of beer related utensils, so fermenters, bottles, and also glasses. But if you can't get to your local homebrew store, just pop down to Big W or your local IGA, you should be able to buy some of this bottle washing powder. Um, it's uh, It does a pretty good job, it's low suds, and it doesn't leave a residue, so it's not going to ruin that head retention. And then secondly, you're going to need some white vinegar. That's for the second part of the cleaning. All right, so I've got a range of different glasses here. Uh, I've got a couple of these uh, Luigi Bormioli uh, craft testers. Uh, this is my Corumban Valley Brewing one that I got when I bought the, uh, the Brett Saison. Love that glass. Uh, so I've got two of those. I've also got one of these um, Crosno um, glasses. They are Fantastic. If you haven't got any Crosno glasses, go out and grab some. They're not too badly priced. They're from Poland, I think. Um, they're a really nice shape. They're really nice. They sit in the hand really nice and they're not too fragile as well. So that you, there's no real fear that you're going to break them. And I've also got one of these, the ultimate breakable beer glass. How many have you seen uh, broken with tears flowing on Facebook? Uh, these Spiegel our IPA glasses they're so fragile i know that every time i use one of these it might be the last uh, i've got five of them i think and i've had i've had them for at least five to seven years i have not broken one yet i've screwed myself up there haven't i oh. okay so uh first things first grab a little bit of this bottle washing powder just pop a little bit in each glass I prefer to um, do this with running water rather than having a sink full of water and, and cleaning them. So just get the water nice and hot, get it in there. Don't go sticking your hands in and rubbing with your hands, okay? Because your hands have got grease and oil all over the natural oils from your body, uh, and that's not good. I do tend to just pop my hand over the top just to give it a really good shake. Do that with all of them. And now let them sit for about 10 minutes. All right, so these bad guys have now soaked for 10 minutes. So I'm just going to pour all of that out. And we're going to rinse. We are going to rinse really well. Cannot stress that enough. Make sure you rinse these really, really well. All 
All right, so next, I'm gonna put just a cap full of vinegar in each glass. Once again, fill them up with hot water and let soak for another 10 minutes. All right, so these have all soaked for another 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna pour out that vinegar and water. And then I'm going to rinse again really well. Make sure you get rid of any uh, vinegar. Look, it doesn't tend to leave any smell. I was a bit worried about that about that at first, but um, it doesn't it doesn't really leave any smell. It's, it's all good. But just make sure you do rinse really well. Once again, don't go sticking your hands in there, trying to rub anything. It, your hands are going to leave residue, so that's what we're trying to uh, to eliminate. What happens is any um, sort of greasy residue clings to the inside of the glass and that then makes the bubbles cling to the inside of the glass. And that is how you can tell that your glass is not properly clean. So, rinse all of these. Make sure that you let them dry naturally. Don't go rubbing them with a towel. Once again, you're just replacing the residue that you've just cleaned off. Um, so, let them just rest upside down on the dish rack there. Once they're dry, hot water, with hot water they should dry relatively quick. Once they're dry, you're ready to drink. Right, so the glasses are all clean. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how the pour goes. All messy at the start. Sorry, my fault. Look at that. Nice. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is as simple as it is. How to get your glasses beer clean. Your beer will taste better, better head retention. Damn fine job, Pete and Luke. That is awesome. So guys, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on the notifications so that you never miss the next drink. And until then, stay cool. Cheers. Bye.